can y'all hear Roosty out there? He's excited this morning. It's supposed to be another one of those 70 degree, I think we're supposed to get over 70s this afternoon. Not that he really knows that. I mean, maybe he can sense it, I don't know. But it does seem like on days that are gonna be prettier, he's a lot louder in the mornings. <laughs> I'm making some biscuits, and then we're gonna make some grits, hot links, and eggs. I really want a hot link biscuit this morning. And we haven't made grits in a while. Grits are really good, like with the hot links, with, well, they're pretty good with anything, but especially with hot links and like country ham and stuff. I love to have grits with those. Now, when I was little, my mama fixed us sweet grits. She would add a little bit of butter. I think she would add butter and sugar to them. That's how I always ate them when I was little. Does anybody out there still eat them that way? With the sugar? I haven't had it like that in... I don't even know how long. Seems like I might have made them that way for the kids one time. But they're so used to eating them, you know, just with, you know, butter, salt, and pepper that they didn't like the sweet version. But that was also with instant grits. Now, the kind that you cook is so much better. So if you think you don't like grits, maybe try the kind that you cook instead of the instant. Even the five-minute quick grits are better than the instant. But we're making the kind that they take about 20 minutes or so. So we'll get those started as soon as we get the biscuits in the oven. Can y'all hear him? He is loud out there this morning. The sun's not even up yet. If you start turning lights on, those roosters are going to start crowing if they can see it. He's like, wake up girls. Time to rise and shine. So for every one cup of grits, you do four cups of liquid. We're going to do two cups water, two cups milk. You can use all water if you want to, but the milk makes them really creamy. Now we'll put in a little bit of butter and some salt. And that's it. When it starts to boil, we'll turn it down, cover it, and just let it cook for about 20 minutes. All right, y'all, it's lunchtime. Titus just got home, and it is very pretty outside today. So we decided we're going on a little adventure. I think he has a couple of places he needs to go, so we're gonna ride along with him. Maybe we'll go on a little hike, I don't know. We're gonna do something outside today, because it is very, very nice. Um, I have this pimento cheese with the peppers that we got from Aldi the other day. I'm gonna taste this real quick. Kids want ham sandwiches. That is really good. Going with pimento cheese, it's great. Well, 
Welcome to Sunrise Grocery. Sweet potatoes, onions, tomatoes. Old fashioned black twists. What's this? Chunky milk chocolate with peanuts and raisins. Chocolate pecan turtles. Dark chocolate mini peppermint creams. Peanut butter cups, peanut brittle, cashew brittle. Georgia pecan brittle. Chocolate peanut brittle. Googly eyes. Taffy. Oh look, bubble bath. Oatmeal, milk and honey. Sleepy hollow lavender. There's cow tails. T-shirts. There's a mud pie. Oh, I think this is like the, uh, I think this is like the mud baked peanut butter cookies. We're gonna try one of these. The moon pie collection is salted caramel, banana, chocolate, vanilla, zesty lemon, and pumpkin spice. Donna's got the snack tray. Only a couple. <laughs> We're ready. They have a fireplace. Yeah, they have a fireplace there. M&M's and sour cream and onion Pringles for Manny. Sissy got a moon, Jonah and Sissy got moon pies and some kind of squeezy ooze. Titus got some Tennessee brown bag, original beef jerky and a moon pie. And I got kettle cooked barbecue chips and a mud pie. And we got some Tim's homemade salsa to try sometimes. Yes sir. Good. It's a marshmallow. It's a moon pie. You like it? Well, here, take it. <laughs> Y'all ain't staying here. Is there a bird in it? Came down the road a little ways and we're gonna walk to this waterfall. Titus is going to pay for parking and get the little thing to hang up and then we're gonna walk down there. They have a little mini golf course here. Yeah, and has skunks in it. Yeah, hole 17 is a skunk. You can hear it? Yes, I have smart ears. Yeah. Look at this waterfall, Manny. Y'all, we're back home. We're taste testing Tim's homemade salsa and it is great. We got the hot kind, but it's not super hot. I don't think it's real, real spicy, do you? That's the best I've ever had. It's really good. And now we were gonna make spaghetti to go with our carrot bread, but it's already 640. So we're gonna have a sandwich and chips night since we have our salsa, <laughs> chips and salsa. And I think I'm gonna use some of this carrot bread for my sandwich. It'll be kind of like a, it's almost like an Italian bread, isn't it? I've never had salsa that good. Scooch that every day, I gotta start some tea. What that means is get your tail out of the way. <laughs> I'm not double dipping, folks. That's the best sauce I've ever eaten. Now, I'm only dipping one time in here, folks, so I'm doing nothing simple. Yeah. Nothing at all. I'll cut me some of this bread here.
lot of y'all stayed up all night, even until this evening, wondering would this be good on a sandwich. I went to bed last night, and I dreamed about this sandwich. <laughs> good? Does taste good. That is so good. Is it? It's, it's really good, yeah. It's good.